staff at the University of New Mexico Hospital say they're dealing with increased patient visits because of the pandemic. At the same time, they're seeing many victims of gunshots. I spoke with staff at the trauma center about the impact this is putting on them. I am deeply concerned about two public health crises that we're facing in New Mexico right now. The first one, of course, is the COVID pandemic. Um, but the second one is this surging violence, especially gun violence. That's Dr. That Stephen McLaughlin speaking to reporters on August 19th after three Albuquerque police officers were shot and another injured while responding to a robbery. I would say it's changed a lot in my 20 years here. Um, recently, we've seen a lot more gun violence. Dr. McLaughlin chairs the Emergency Medicine Department at UNMH, which includes the state's only level one trauma center. They care for the most severely injured patients, including gunshot victims. Data from APD shows from March 1st, 2020, around the time the pandemic began, to September 30th, 2021, there were 405 victims of gunshots. 72 were listed as accidental shootings. Gun violence is a public health emergency that we're facing. Dr. McLaughlin says for his colleagues, it feels like whiplash handling both COVID patients and victims of gunshots. It's mentally challenging moving back and forth between those and in the same space with the PPE on and the masks. It feels surreal at times. He's concerned for the trauma nurses he works with. Before the pandemic began, we looked at levels of PTSD in emergency department nurses, um, and they're very high. And as the pandemic drags on and the violence continues, that has only increased. It's defeating and exhausting now. Casey Ramos is a registered nurse at UNMH. I asked her how many gunshot victims she sees in a typical 12 hour shift. I would say at least two patients up to 10 patients at any given day. She's chosen to cut back her hours to protect her mental health. Some days it's not worth it and some days it is. Morale, I would say, is very low right now. I asked if anyone is to blame for this rise in violence. So I think gun violence is multifactorial and it's just a product of things that have failed. Um, failed the person, failed the community. I believe that gun violence is just a product of the health disparities that people face. In September, a group of New Mexico House Democrats outlined a package of criminal justice bills intended to reduce gun violence, including penalties for failing to safely store guns, establishing an office of gun violence prevention, and reducing high capacity magazines, like those used to injure the four APD officers. Republican lawmakers are also making this a topic of discussion. They plan to ask the legislature to reconsider a list of their crime bills that were rejected in the previous legislative session. The next legislative session starts in January. Reporting, I'm Stella Sun, KOAT Action 7 News. All four APD officers injured in the robbery in August are out of the hospital and recovering.